Today we're going to look at Advisor MUI and how to download and install the theme for Moodle 4. As you can see, this is what I'm going to download on my computer and then install on Moodle. I'm on a Mac, so it may look slightly different from your machine if you're using a Windows. So here I am with all the uh, files. Notice I'm going to go from the right to the left. So from here, this way, all the way down to the first one. So there are quite a few of them. You don't need to have all of them. So I'm first going to show you what you need to have. And then you can decide whether you want to add the additional ones. This is the Moodle site. Going to go into site administration. I'm already there, but I just want to show you the process. You go in as the admin. Only the admin can do this. Managers cannot. Click on the site administration and then you go into appearance. And this is where you will see the theme and where you can select it. We'll go there afterwards. Right now we're going to go into plugins because a theme is a plugin. Click on that and then go into install. If you're not an admin of a Moodle site, but are interested in learning how things work on Moodle, feel free to continue. I can look at the overview or install. Even though it's there, but I have the old version. So instead of getting rid of it, I'm simply going to add the new one and it'll take care of itself. Now notice there are two ways of installing plugins. One is to install from Moodle.org and the other one is to choose a file from your computer and just um, install it, which is what I'm going to do. So let me just uh, scroll down a bit. Here we go. So you can see everything. Going to go into my finder and then start adding them. Okay, we'll start with as I said, the one on the right. So this is the first one, theme, REM UI. Wait for it to come up in there. And you can see the zip is in. Next, I'm going to install. And I'm going to go through this for each one of them. Let me just show you the process. Click on the install plugin, and then you get all this. Make sure that it's mature. In this case, I know that it's mature, but if it's not, you might want to reconsider adding it because some plugins can compromise your whole Moodle site. So be very careful and ask before you do anything. You don't want to make mistakes that you'll regret. But if you do make mistakes, you can always restore your Moodle or the domain for that matter, if you're on Temple and you're in charge. Notice there are other things here as well. So uh, I might just want to go through all of them to make sure that I'm adding the other plugins. Notice the maturity there. All right, so now notice Zoom. Going to also add this course layout, and then I'm good to go. Now we can continue with the upgrade Moodle database now because we are upgrading the database every time we make such a change. And that's why it's so important to be careful in case some of the plugins don't work together. You can always remove a plugin. If you need help on that, let me know. Notice now we're getting the uh, the first file of the theme REM UI, and it's been successful. So we're gonna go on to continue. There we are. Moodle 4.0 is quite different from the other ones. It's very important to get the latest theme. Use Boost when you upgrade. Don't try the old ones because they may just uh, different, it won't work, and uh, you may have to do some extra work in the back end, and you don't want to go there. Trust me, you don't. So be careful. When you want to upgrade to 4, make sure that the theme is compatible. If it's not, don't use it. And notice I had an old one here, and I wasn't using it. I was using, well, right now I'm using Move, but use boost because move wasn't upgraded until much later either so now we're going to go back notice uh, it takes us to this page but we're going to keep going back to plugins and continue with the process in the same way 
click on plugins this is just a reminder i'm not going to show you the rest of it you can do it yourself on your own machine on your own moodle site and then i'm going to go into install plugins this time i'm just going to bring it up drag it in notice that shows me that that's the last one that i did which really helps me otherwise i might be confused and start counting but i'm going to go to the next one don't delete them keep it okay so here goes for the next one i'm just going to uh, just move it in there we go click too many times and then uh, things moved around all right so let's uh, go through this install plugin and it's the same process we'll continue and then we'll go on to the third one and so on so here we are again if you have any questions it'll go faster and faster as you go trust me it'll just take a couple of minutes and then you're done so i'll let you do that and then we'll continue now the last two you might not want to add it's up to you one is block with ads and the other one is uh, rating review so it's up to you it's going to work with and we've got all the theme files up and ready to go now we're going to go back to appearance and then we're going to scroll down until we get advisor rem ui over here this is before we select the theme otherwise it's going to be the default theme go to advisor rem ui now i've had a rem as i said advisor rem ui before going to go into general scroll down uh, general because okay when it's black we have it and notice it's but you knew this otherwise it becomes clickable so you can cl notice uh, advisor mui span class plus three version for this version things here next uh, logo only and there are my love see everything has been added here the only thing that i think i will change is the CSS because uh, it's different from what I had before so I'm going to remove see I had a lot of things there and I'm going to take it from another site there you go and then um, here's another one let me turn that off too what I do is I use the same basic things all right we're going to go into site administration because this is what the site looks like because what I want appearance is the css so here we are we'll grab the css from the general notice here we're in the general again scroll down we're going to copy all of this if you'd like to know what i have let me know but i'm sure advisor mui will be happy amazing with their support let me paste it there we are and then i'm going to scroll down and save that a few seconds all right now let's go to the home page over here and um, let's scroll down notice what's here legacy or advisor home page builder i want the home page builder that's for the front page and then uh, now i'm going to go into the live because in order to be able to see what i'm doing and what i have i will need to go into advisor so i've done what i could now i'd like to see what it looks like so let me uh, select advisor mui change theme scroll down until i get to advisor there that's the new uh, look it's not the way my theme is going to look but yours could look like this you've got a choice let me continue here let's see the font should be white all right i'm just going to change that for a while let me clear the cache here that's always a good idea okay so now let's go into notice i'm going to go into that's where uh, i'll be making the changes and then i'm going to turn editing on for this it's been a while all right so now what we can do i don't have anything from what you can see there's nothing here right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into and i have this on another video if you're interested in watching it i'm going to customize it by going into the plus i can also customize the colors by going into the paintbrush at the top so let's start with the plus and these are the different things that i'll be adding 
but that's another video. I'll share the video in the description of this one. Stop that and go into the uh, top here for the uh, paintbrush. This is, uh, you don't need to have editing turned on for this. It's not necessary. But here it is. This is where you can customize the color of the headings and so on. That's for you to decide what colors you want. And, and this is what the site looks like. Let me uh, log out so you can see it from the outside, looking in, and here it is. Uh, these spaces I will take care of so that they don't appear. That's a customized CSS, and you can get that from Advisor RemUI. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the chat box below, the comment, sorry, comment box below. And enjoy learning and creating courses, teaching, which is another way of uh, learning, isn't it? Have a great day.